Hey, Dave here from BarPatrol.net. Today, I'm going to take you into the back-end upserve reporting to show you how powerful it is. The back-end reporting really is the bread and butter of this system. It's absolutely phenomenal, which you're about to see. It's unlike any other POS system I've seen up to this point because of the return on investment and the profits these insights can give you, which can help your restaurant go from this to this. It really is that good. Now, if you want to see how the front of the house system works for Upserve, what the bartenders and servers see when they work on it, you can go check out the Upserve iPad demo here. And then for the back end videos, I'm going to break it up into three separate videos so we don't spend too much time on any one video in case you have ADD or something and you don't get too overwhelmed. So in this first video, we're going to go over the sales insights reports, the staff insight reports, as well as the custom reports you can make in the back end. In addition, because I have such a good relationship with Upserve, they've authorized me to provide you with a substantial discount to anyone who eventually signs up with Upserve through me, all right? And it's a $500 voucher, all right? That's $500 off your order, no strings attached. All you need to do is click the link below this video when you're ready, go sign up for a demo. You're not committing to anything, it's free. It's just a time for you to ask questions and see if you like the system. But by clicking the link, you're automatically put into the system, so if you do eventually decide to go with Upserve, they'll know who you are. Okay, enough of that, let's get into it. Now, the reason why Upserve is way ahead of the POS pack right now is because they used to be a data mining company. They used to be called Swipely, you may have heard of them, and their entire mission and objective was to gather insights and data from credit card customers so they could make their buying experience a lot better. They have then since brought that buyer experience to the bar and restaurant industry. They purchased the highly acclaimed breadcrumb POS system and they took all of their data mining experience and they integrated it into that system. And as a result, they have these reporting insights that are game changing. All right, let me show you what I mean. First, let me get my big head out of the way. There we go. So here's our Upserve POS system and I'm gonna get into the back end report and I'm gonna show you those reports, but let me show you what it can do with each transaction you're gonna be able to see how many people were at the table, where they sat, what they ordered, what time they ordered, who their server was, how long they were dining at the table, and how they paid. Now, many POS systems can tell you that information, not all of them, but many of them can. But as we dip further, we get into the data mining, which comes from the information from credit card swipes which is extremely important today because 84% of transactions in the restaurant industry come from credit cards, not cash. So with that information, we can see who the customer is and we can start to build a profile based on that information. We can see how much they spend on average, how much they tip on average, which the servers would probably like to know. And we can see if they've been in before, is this their first time here? How often do they come in? And there's actually a report in Upserve where you can see who your best customers are based on how much they've spent and how often they come in. It's very cool. And so what's happening here is with these insights is you're starting to create a culture and experience that's extremely meaningful to your guests. And as a result, what do we get? We get loyalty, repeat customers. You can start creating a profile with the credit card. You no longer need third party loyalty cards. The credit card is a loyalty card. It's very cool. The servers and bartenders can start learning the names, which is the sweetest thing in the world for guests that walk in is to hear their own name. All right, and again, we can see if they're first time customers, if they're repeat customers, and then we move into the behavior. We talked about this a little bit already. All right, how many people do they come in with on average? Do they come in by themselves? How much do they spend on average? How much do they tip on average? How long do they stay when they come in? Okay, then we're moving into menu and server insights. I'm gonna go over the menu insights in the next video. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to catch that. It's very cool. So with the menu insights, we can see, obviously, our biggest sellers. All right, any POS can show this, but we can see our hottest sellers, our top sellers, but what we can do here is we can see how often a guest comes back after they order that individual item. So if we have a first time guest comes in, they order an item, we can see that guests are only returning 6% of the time after they order that item, we gotta get rid of it. So you can dump your losers, you can keep your rock stars. This is called the magic, the magic quadrant back in the reporting section. I'm gonna show you that next video. It is awesome. And then finally, the server insights are performance reports that can tell you which servers are selling the most, turning the tables the fastest, 
areas of strengths and weaknesses when it comes to selling the menu items, as well as areas to improve on for upselling. All right, other POS systems simply don't have this reporting advantage. You can also view your reporting anywhere, anytime, any device. You can be in St. Lucia on your honeymoon, at your kid's basketball game. You can view them from anywhere. And then the other great thing I love about Upserve, it's no small thing, 99.9% .9 uptime, and then their support is awesome. 24-7, 365 support, answer the phone within 30 seconds or less. Okay, in a day and age when big companies, that just doesn't happen, right? It's like, for English, press one now. And pretty soon you're screaming into your phone. You're like, speak with a live person. All right, not with Upserve, 30 seconds or less. Another reason people love Upserve. So now that you have a good overview of what Upserve can do for you, let's actually take a look at the reports. So in this one, we're going to go over the sales insights, the server insights, and then custom reporting. Okay, so when you first log into the HQ, you're just going to come to the dashboard. It's going to give you an overview of your gross and net sales over any time period you want, which you can change right over here, okay? And then once we get into the sales insights, you're gonna see all these tabs up top. We're gonna go over each one. It starts with your net sales for the given time period, and it's gonna give you an overview right here, what your net sales are, what your average checks are, and then each of these bars represents your sales for each of those days. Now, the data thrown in here is sort of made up, so it's not always gonna be perfectly accurate. It's difficult to get credit card information on, a, on an account because you have to use a real credit card. So a lot of the data in here is just kind of thrown in, but it's gonna give you a good idea of what these reports are gonna look at like and what they can do for you. So there's your net sales, um, gross, I'm sorry, net sales compared to the year before. So over on the right here, I'll show you that in just a second. You can change uh, what you're comparing it to. The yellow line here is compared to last year. The green is this year. Okay, so you can see how you're doing up here with these percentages. You can see how you're doing over the previous year. And then if you hover over any of these bars, you're going to get a little report card for that day. And you can compare it to last year. You can see they're up 33%. You can even compare the weather. You can see it was a lot colder last year. Uh, I'm sorry, it was a lot warmer last year than it is this year. It was in the 50s last year. It was 78 degrees. So all that information is uh, hovering over each day. Uh, gross sales are going to be very similar. Uh, just it's going to include taxes now. Uh, you can do the same scorecard thing over here. Covers. Covers are, in case you don't know, I'm sure you probably know, but they are people. Okay, so when they sit down at your table, if there's four people, the server would enter four for the covers. Uh, I highly suggest you do this because you can get your check averages based on how much each person's spending. What gets skewed here is the bar because if you have a busy bar and there's people standing and there are some people that are closing out every single drink. They order a Budweiser, they close out. They order another drink, they close out. That's going to screw up the covers. That's one person, but it looks like six transactions. But you can run a report based on all the stations or the resource centers and leave the bar out if you have it separated, which you can do. Okay, and now we can see what the covers are in the restaurant and leave the bar out. And it's, it's very valuable information. So once again, uh, I highly recommend doing it. The card sales, which is very important because with the card sales, we can see the new and repeat customers. We can see it down here, um, the repeat versus new customers, and then how they did last year. All right, so this is information that allows you to see if your repeat customers are coming in, if that number is going up. Okay, and then again, over here on the right, you can see that's where you can run a comparison uh, to whatever you want, the year before, the period before, or the daily average. And then since we're talking about repeat customers, I'm going to jump over here to new versus repeat, and you can get customer visits, total sales, and average sales for those customers, which is extremely valuable. And you can see your guest frequency, which is 1.15 here, which is visits per customer in the last 15 days, which is the time period we have. That's actually a good guest frequency to have right there. Okay, and then I kind of jumped over this one because I want to come back to it. It's one of my favorite things in HQ. This is the heat map. And it's going to tell you the busiest and slowest times of day and days of the week. And if we go to something like this, you can see these lighter and darker bars. Again, if you hover over any of them, it's going to give you more detailed information. This is true of just about all the reports inside Upserve. So what is this telling us? Well, the darker bars are your busier time. Okay, the lighter areas are your slower times. So this allows us to do several things. So we can decide on these busier times to, to put more staff on. Also, to put your best servers on because that's your busiest times. It also tells the manager when they might want to start cutting the floor. All right? 
In addition, we can also start beefing up these lighter areas. We can start coming up with a promo, we'll come up with some ideas that we need to do. I don't know what's going on with Tuesday, but it's all white in here. It's probably because the data in here is not completely accurate. Uh, we also have this area right here. So we start looking at these lighter areas. Thursday is even a little bit lighter than Wednesday right here. And I'm going to show you that in the next slide exactly how much lighter it is. So what do we need to do to beef up that time? And then finally, if you have like lighter areas or even white toward your closing times, you might want to close earlier. All right. It's going to save you costs and help you take advantage of the busier times and vice versa. If right at closing time, your areas are dark, all right, you might want to find a way to stay open later. That's the time of day, and if we move to the day of the week, it's just another view of what's going on to give you another angle, and now you can see, like Monday's busier than Tuesday for some reason, maybe you have something going on that's better on Mondays. Uh, we spoke about Thursdays, it's a lot less than Wednesday. Thursday's usually pretty good for bars and restaurants, it's getting close to the weekend, people like to go out, so you need to sit down with your managers and be like, what do we need to do for Thursday night? The sales are awful, do we need to get a mechanical bull, or a stripper pole, or... All right, not a stripper poll, but trivia night. What do we need to do to boost those sales? And based on the two weeks over here, maybe it's just an anomaly. Maybe uh, something just happened for those two Thursdays, so no big deal. Maybe we'll see what happens. But these are the insights that allow you to beef up and fill in the gaps for those areas that you're really suffering. So that gives you an overview of the sales insights and what it can do for you and how powerful they are. So let's move right into server insights. Okay, and right when you open your server insights, it's going to give you all staff positions right here. Uh, you can see the blue number is the average for the whole company. You can break it down by position over here. You can do admin, floor manager. Let's go with server for now. So now it's just going to break up the servers. And the color coding here is just broken down by category. Food, alcohol, beverage, different categories and how they do. And then if you hover over it, you can get the individual details. So let's go back to all of the staff here and take a look. And again, here's a scorecard, give some details. If I click on this scorecard, it's gonna basically flip it over on the back and give more details on how this person's doing. Their turn time, you can see it gets worse as the uh, week or two weeks go on right there. And then down below is the discounts, which in this case, this guy's at 9.17%, which means he discounts that percentage of his checks, almost one out of 10. Uh, he's basically uh, gonna be in trouble for doing that. But this is what you can see with the server insights. You can see how well he's doing here. So if we go back to these, again, I'm going to hover over here. Look at Tom Clark. And if you look down here, you can see he's number one in food. But if you look at like the beer, wine, and everything else, he's number 14 out of 28 servers. That kind of puts him in the middle of the pack right there. And if we flip his scorecard over, you can see strengths is food opportunities in wine and beer. And this is based on the percentage where he ranks among the other servers. If you have 25 servers on, anything in the top percentage are gonna be a strength, anything in the middle or down below are gonna be opportunities for upsell. Now, like I said, you can break this down by position. Bartenders are gonna have strengths in liquor, beer, and wine over the servers. They're gonna sell a lot more than that, but you can separate it by just bartenders. You can see how they're ranking among themselves and then you can find upsell opportunities within that. Very cool. And then once again, if you hover over here, it's going to give you the legend for what these colors mean. All right. And the other cool thing you can do is you can break these down uh, by filter. So over here, you can see by dinner shift and how much wine you sell. All right. You can see how each server is doing here. The bottle is uh, in green by the glass is in orange. You can see William Wood is doing a great job. Uh, Erica Glatz down here at the bottom is struggling a little bit. So you can see how each server is performing. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, the next one is going to be checks. Checks is going to be very similar to the covers. It's based on uh, how many sales you do per check. So if there's four covers in the checks, so that's basically the entire table, um, how, they're, how they're selling. So a lot of those stats are going to be very similar. Once again, you can have the scorecard and how they're doing. Uh, the next one is very valuable. This is your turn time. You can see how fast your servers are turning tables. All right, you can see at the top here, uh, this guy's doing about 45 minutes per table. Jim down here at the bottom is doing about an hour and 45 minutes. You probably need to have a talk with Jim. He's either extremely slow or he's too talkative. Uh, maybe he's giving great service. You don't want to rush customers out, but you need to, to turn and burn. This is a great metric for putting your best turn and burn servers on your busiest night. So it's Saturday night. 
uh, you want Jacob up here on on a Saturday night because he's going to turn and burn a lot more sales opportunities in this. You're not going to put Jim on there. Maybe put Jim on a Tuesday night uh, when it's slower. He can give great customer service, keep the guests there for a while. That's fine because there's open tables. It doesn't really matter. And then finally with the discounts, I mentioned it briefly earlier, but you can see Chris's card here on his discounts. You can see the blue average. This is what the restaurant average is. That's actually probably uh, a little high in reality. But Chris's scorecard shows that he comps 52% of his checks at least a percentage and 27% of his checks 100%. All right, that's obviously probably made up data. Basically, Chris is fired in this situation, but it helps you prevent a lot of shadiness uh, if some servers or bartenders have some admin privileges, they're given a lot of discounts, you can spot it right here. So those are your server insights. And the last thing I'm going to say about that is these insights raise the level of performance for everyone. Because if your bartenders and servers know that you know the highest performers, there's nowhere for them to hide. You know, how much harder are they going to work when they know that you know what's going on because they want the best shifts as well. So it creates competition, which increases the performance level. All right, how amazing is that? Okay, so then the last thing we're just gonna cover just really quickly are the custom reports. I just wanna show you what you can do back here. If there are more reports that you want that aren't in here, this is what the screen looks like when you get here. And you can see all the different data over here and it can be overwhelming maybe, but just choose the ones you want. This is really good for like maybe an accountant who isn't getting the reports that they need. They can come here and create their own and they can compare the data against each other. So let's just look really quick at what can be done here. I can drag certain uh, data over here into this area and then I can compare it against other data. So I can choose the tax right here and now you can see there's two up there. I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, net sales. So we'll have three up on the screen. There we go. And then up here with all the charts, we can choose different ones. I can choose the bar chart, which goes sideways. This is really what depends on what's best for you. This is the line chart, basically just dots up there, which isn't great for me. But whatever you visualize best. Okay, there's the up and down one again. Uh, pie chart, if you like the pie. All right, and speaking of desserts, my favorite one of all this to view, which gives me the best understanding, is the donut chart, which looks like this. Okay, so that gives you a quick overview of what you can do. You can put five in there, 10 in there, however many you want to compare what's going on. Uh, it just gives you an extra tool to figure out the insights that are going on in your restaurant. So what we've learned with the insights we looked at today are looking at your sales, determining the slower and busier times during the day and the days of the week. So you can put your busier servers on during that time. You can also boost your sales, hopefully, during those slower times. We also looked at new versus repeat customers, how often they come in, how often they spend money, and then we're able to use the server insights to put your rock star bar bartenders and servers on during those busier times, and then allow your weaker servers to fight for those better spots, to improve those areas where they're weaker, upsell more, and use it as a training opportunity to make them better. So that's gonna do it for today. Remember, click on the link below this video to go schedule a demo with Upserve. They're awesome there. That will also get you the $500 discount if you do eventually go with Upserve. Next video, we're diving into menu insights, online ordering, some other stuff. Uh, we won't have the overview of Upserve like we did at the beginning of today. We're diving right into the report, so it'll be a little faster, a little quicker. I hope to see you there. I really appreciate you being here. If you have any questions at all, put it in the comments, give us an email, let me know. I'm going to see you next time. I'm out.